Hey guys, welcome back to Thursday Thoughts. Today we're gonna to be talking about moving essentials. So my little brother is moving into his own place. He has two roommates and they're all dudes that are young men, shall we say. You know, cause I'm old lady like that. I get to use that phrase now. The question is, what on earth do I get for this guy? Well, I went shopping today and picked up a few things. So we're gonna go through what some of the moving essentials are and what on earth I got for my little brother. One of the first things that a lot of people don't consider is that you're going to be needing a lot of things to clean up. So I talked on Monday about how I cleaned out my pantry and kind of scrubbed it down. Well, the same kind of thing happens. When you move, you want to be able to have things nice and clean and kind of make it your own. So one of the first things that I got for him was some dish soap and a dish scrubber, just so that he can clean the dishes. I am giving him a bunch of my old pots and pans, like full set, as well as Tupperware and some silverware. So I know he's gonna have dishes and he's definitely going to need to clean them. So those are some of the first things that I got. Secondly, I got him some Mrs. Meyers concentrated cleaner, as well as an empty spray bottle to put it in. This is a concentrate, so you are able to use a lot less of the solution at a time, and then you mix in water with it so that it's actually ready to spray then. So that should last him a good while and do pretty well. For wiping down counters and things like that with the spray, I got him some, some what is this? Soft microfiber dishcloths. And I got these because that way he doesn't have to worry about buying paper towels all the time. They have a washer and dryer in their apartment, so they'll actually be able to just toss these into the washer, clean them, and then reuse them. So it'll save them on cost as well as efficiency. So because they have a washer and dryer in their unit, these guys are actually gonna be able to do their laundry anytime they need to. So I went ahead and got them some Tide Pods, which I need to go ahead and put the signage on it for them because Tide Pods are not a snack item. So we're gonna go ahead and attach that to it so that all the guys know this is not snack time. You're not supposed to eat this, okay. And then I also got them some fabric softener. Apparently, millennials and the younger generation are not using fabric softener. Can someone explain this to me? Let me know down in the comments if you use fabric softener. And if you don't, I would love to know why you don't use fabric softener. Because I tell you what, I just did a load of towels that are just kind of our cleanup towels. And I didn't use fabric softener on them because I'm like, oh, they're just, you know, the cleanup towels. And wow, I could totally tell a difference. They were so much harsher, so much rougher. And I would love to know, how do you guys not use fabric softener? Let me know down in the comments if you use fabric softener or not, and let me know how that goes for you. I talked about this in some of my videos, but one of the things I like to keep around all the time is things like candles. So I went ahead and picked up a candle for him. It is the Cedar Candle, the Target brand. Um, smells pretty good. So I went ahead and picked this up for him, and that way he can have something nice and smelly around the place. Also, when you move into a new place, you don't quite know how the water is going to be. So since these guys have considered getting bottled water, my brother's environmentally conscious sister has decided to get them instead a pitcher with a water filter built in. So and I went ahead and got a couple of spare filters as well so that they can go ahead and keep their filtered water in the fridge and they won't have to use a thousand bottled waters. So this will save them on cost for bottled water as well as waste. So they'll be able to reuse the pitcher over and over and just get some spare filters whenever they need it. Last but not least, one of the big things that I got for him was something that I talked about in my adulting video. You can check that out right up here. And it is a little tiny plant. <laughs> uh, I love the snake tongue plant. It's also called mother-in-law's tongue. And a couple of mine have been sprouting these little side babies. And so I went ahead and potted one of the little ones for him so it should have enough time to grow in this pot. Da, da, da. It's a beautiful pot. Um, so get a plant, keep it alive. That was one of my things in the adulting video. So I went ahead and got him a plant. These are some of the things that I'm getting for my little brother who is moving out. What are some things that you think are essential when it comes to moving? I think one of the things I did not get was trash bags, but I think the guys should have trash bags. 
That's what I'm guessing. So let me know down in the comments what you would add or subtract from this list. What is something that you always make sure that you have on hand when you are moving? I would love to hear from you guys, and I will see you again on Mean Mugging Monday. Have a good one.